Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the series of live surgery. And uh, today I'm gonna talk about vaginoscopy. The term vaginoscopy was first uh, published in the late 80s by an article uh, from Italy from a very distinguished group. And the objective and the purpose was to facilitate doing hysteroscopy in the office without a speculum, without the teleculum. The description of the technique in the paper is in the article that you glide the hysteroscope inside the vagina like this, going gently and trying to find the posterior fornix. That's the posterior fornix. And then pull back and try to see the external os. Okay, I cannot, yes, this is the external os, all right? So this is the a classic vaginoscope, which is actually a vaginoscopic access to the uterine cavity. So later on, I thought that we can provide a different and more objective uh, uh, procedure. Just press on the valve, yalla iman. Press on the valve, and this will distend the vaginal canal, and that's the real vaginoscopy, okay? Real vaginoscopy means endoscopic examination of the vagina. And you can explore the whole vaginal circumference, you can see the vaginal wall, the mucosa, the rouge, and then you can glide to see the posterior fornix, lateral fornix, and also have opportunity to examine the cervix better than a corposcope. This is a large uh, cervical ectopic erosion. This is the stratified squamate epithelium, columnar epithelium, and this is the transformation zone. So this is uh, the my vaginoscopy technique, which allow a very nice examination of the vagina, much more better, clear, comfortable, convenient to the patient. And better than corposcopy, you can examine the outer surface of the cervix, and then you can go inside and see the endocervical glands and mucosa. So this is an opportunity uh, not available by standard Corposcope. So I hope I made it clear what does it mean vaginoscopy is totally different than the uh, classic published technique and then we can go slowly and reach the internal loss. Okay? Stop.